Okay, so today um, we're going to make a classic French ratatouille. Dead simple to make, you need a few simple ingredients, all vegetables and some tomatoes, okay? So over here we have the ingredients, and we're gonna start off um, with some red peppers. And then we've got one brown onion, um, some tomato puree, we're gonna want around about 100 grams of tomato puree, one tin of chopped tomatoes, an eggplant, or an aubergine, whatever you want to call it. And we've got two um, good-sized courgettes. I'm using some lazy garlic. You can use some cloves of garlic if you like. Um, three cloves of garlic, that. A couple of bay leaves and some salt and pepper for seasoning. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop all these vegetables up. Okay, we're gonna get them diced and sliced. So we'll get that sorted out now and then I'll show you how to get them cooked. Okay, so with all our um, veggies all um, sliced and cut up now, what we're going to do is we're going to start cooking these, okay? So we're going to cook off the veggies first in a pan, okay? So I've got a nice frying pan um, on the stove here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get some olive oil into this pan and start cooking these off. Okay, so you want a generous amount of olive oil in the bottom of there. Season it slightly with some salt, not too much, just a little bit. Get that nice and hot. And so the first we're going to cook off, we're going to cook off our eggplants, okay? So we're going to get them in there and get them a nice brown colour. Put them into the pan. Not a medium sort of heat. You're going to want to stir these around. And they're probably going to take about five minutes or so. Make sure they're all split up. Cook them off now. Turn in all the time, and like I say, for about five minutes until they sort of started to go a nice brown colour. Here we are, and as you can see, um, that eggplant now is starting to go nice and brown. It's been cooking for about five minutes. Um, so right next to it now we have um, a cast iron oven proof casserole dish. And what we're going to do is we're going to tip these vegetables now as they're cooked into that dish. And there we are, so there's our eggplant all in the pan and that's got quite a nice colour and we can just tip this straight into our dish, pop that back on to the heat, add a splash more olive oil and throw in the courgettes. Cook them until they've all gone a nice brown colour and add them to the dish. Now, as you can see, they're starting to go brown. Now, what you need to do with these is you don't really want to rush it. You want to turn them all over so that they get um, cooked evenly, okay? So get them all turned over. And if you want to, what you could do is cook these half and half. So if you do sort of 50% of them, get them brown in the pan and then do the others. But I'm going to do them like this. Let them to cook for another five minutes or so until they're nice and soft. And there we are, as you can see, they're starting to brown off. I've been um, flipping them over for about 10 minutes or so, and they can go straight in the pan now with the eggplant. So next, into the pan, and we're gonna add another splash of olive oil, and we're gonna fry off our onions. We'll get them in there. And our peppers as well. Fry them off all together. Make a little space in the middle there. What we're going to do is we're going to add one teaspoon now of lazy garlic, okay? Or if you want, you could add two or three sliced cloves of garlic. But I'm going to use this stuff just because it's easier. There we are. We get all that mixed in and get that cooking off. Okay, so while all that veg has been cooking off over there, we've got our onions, uh, red peppers, our eggplant and our courgettes, which are in the, um, in the casserole dish. What I've done is I've made up about 200 mils of veg stock. Just use a bit of veg bouillon, one teaspoon of veg bouillon, 
200 mils of water. So we're going to add this um, to that sauce mix, which is going to be made up of the onions and the uh, and the red peppers. Okay, so we're just about cooked. I'll show you what else you need to get in there now to get this dish all together. So into our onions and red peppers, we're going to put our tomato paste. Okay, about 100 mils of this stuff, which is about half of one of these tubes that you buy, okay? So about half of one of them, straight into that mix now. Try and get it all out, and there we go. And then what we want to do, is with our spoon, get this mixed in. Yeah, that one escaped. There we go. Okay, so once that's all mixed in, um, all your, your tomato paste is mixed in with your onions and your peppers, what you're going to need to do now is to get this into a sauce consistency, and we're going to add our veg stock to it. Um, we're not going to maybe add the whole lot, we're just going to add enough to get it to a thick sauce, okay? So we'll put this in bit by bit until we get it to the right consistency. Okay, so nice and slowly add half of our stock, mix it together. And get that heat turned down a little bit on there now. And that is starting to go into a sauce, we'll add a little tiny bit more. So how much have we added there? So we've added 100 mils. And we've got a pretty decent looking sauce there. Yeah. There we are, so that's about right. So about 100 mils, 150 mils of stock has made that into a lovely tomato -y onion sauce. Okay, so what we're going to do um, into the casserole dish now, um, where we've got our courgettes and our eggplant, we're going to add our tin of chopped tomatoes, okay? I'm going to throw the whole tin of chopped tomatoes in there, and get that mixed in with a spoon. There we are, mix all that together. I haven't had any heat on this at the moment, so the, the pan is still quite, well, it's still quite cold, so you can grab onto the sides of it. So there you are, once that's all mixed in there, we're then going to add our onions, red peppers, and um, tomato paste sauce into this pan as well or into the oven dish rather get that all mixed into there make sure you get all of it out of the pan because um, you know it's going to give a pretty decent flavour what you can do is you can get a little tiny bit of your vegetable stock and just swill that pan around a bit to get all of the juice out of there there we are Lovely. Yeah, so when that's all mixed in, um, what we're going to do um, to finish the flavouring of this off now is we've got a couple of bay leaves. Two or three. Um, I'll probably drop about three bay leaves in there, I think. Well, there we are. Two, we'll put four. Four bay leaves. That'll give a lovely flavour to that. Get the heat on now under this, um, this dish. There we are. We can pop that dish onto the heat. Season slightly with a bit of pepper. Mix that all together. There we go. And then you've got two choices. You can put a lid on this and you can cook it on the hob for about 15 minutes or so on a medium heat. Um, allowing all of those veg and all those juices to sort of um, combine together. That's choice one. Choice two, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a lid on that and I'm going to cook this in an oven at about 180 degrees for about half an hour. I'm going to whip it out and it'll be done. Here we are. Half an hour um, in there, we'll whip that out and we'll have a little check on that. That's on 180, and in half hour's time, that ratatouille is going to be ready for eating. OK, 
Okay, so our ratatouille has been cooking in the oven now for about half an hour or so, 35 minutes. I've just had a quick look at it and it is, looks absolutely beautiful and the smell is, is fantastic. So we're gonna whip that out now, we'll get it plated up, ready to eat. Ratatouille. Beautiful. Little sprinkle chimes. Enjoy. 